In Image 23, PeopleSoft expanded the PeopleSoft Classic Comprehensive Supplier Portal to allow users to access key components within financial and supply chain applications using the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. PeopleSoft provides its users, the buying organizations, with the ability to interact with their suppliers and bidders using the Comprehensive Supplier Portal, a centralized location containing multiple tiles used to assist suppliers and bidders with their daily jobs, organized into two separate home pages. The first home page, which can be configured to display a selected set of tiles, is generic in nature and not related to any specific suppliers or bidders. Your organization can configure the system such that external users can access this page through a guest user account without a manual login. The second home page is for use by an organization's existing suppliers and bidders and supplier users that have their own login configured to access the PeopleSoft application. This completes our discussion of the Comprehensive Supplier Portal feature. PeopleSoft Fluid Expense Report post-pay approvals enables approvers to review and take action on requests for added and modified expense report post-payments. You can select all or several expense report post-payments on this page and perform a mass action on the selected reports. These actions include approve and deny. To view more detail, select the arrow on the right side of the row. Use the Expense Report Postpay Header Approval page to review and approve a single expense report postpayment. Select View Attachments to view attachments associated to the report. Select View Notes to view notes associated to the report. Select a line in the Lines grid to review additional details for specific expense line. Select Action Buttons to approve or deny a single expense report postpayment. In addition, approvers can enter comments and view the approval chain. The Cash Advance Postpay option enables approvers to review and take action on requests for added and modified Cash Advance Postpayments. You can select all or several Cash Advance Postpayments on this page and perform a mass action on the selected reports. The action only includes the Approve button. To view more detail, select the arrow on the right side of the row. Review and approve multiple cash advances with the Cash Advance option. Perform a mass action by selecting multiple transactions and then selecting an Approval Action button. Select the More button to display other action buttons, Push Back, Return to Submitter, and Hold. Use the Travel Authorizations option to review and approve multiple travel authorizations. This completes our discussion of the Expenses Fluid Approvals Phase 2 feature. PeopleSoft Fluid Approvals enables approvers to review and take action on requests to confirm deals. To view more detail, select a deal confirmation row. Actions include Approve or Deny. In addition, approvers can view deal attachments when available, enter comments, and view the approval chain. Approvers can also review line detail before confirming the deal. Deal confirmation is also available on small mobile devices such as phones. This completes our discussion of the Page Composer for Deal Configuration feature. PeopleSoft Fluid Field Request Approvals enables approvers to review and take action on requests for added and modified chart fields. These actions include Approve, Deny, Pushback, or Hold. To view more detail, select the arrow on the right side of the row. When a request is made to add a chart field, tree information is included in the request detail. In addition, approvers can enter comments and view the approval chain. Requests to update a chart field have less information on the detail page, but you can still enter approver comments and view the approval chain. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Approval for Chart Field Request feature. PeopleSoft Fluid enables approvers to review and take action on write-offs made on draft and maintenance worksheets. 
perform an action for multiple write-off amounts on the pending approvals page or view more information by selecting a single write-off row to open the header details page. In addition to worksheet summary information and lines, approvers can view attachments when available, enter comments, and view the approval chain. Approvers can also review line details before approving the write-off amount. Approvals for write-offs on draft and maintenance worksheets are also available on small mobile devices such as phones. This completes our discussion of the Accounts Receivable Draft and Maintenance Write-Off Approval on Fluid feature. Within PeopleSoft eSettlements, you have the option to use payables for approving invoices. Accounts Payable allows you to view the approval history and submit the invoice for approvals from the voucher component. You can also instigate batch voucher approval via mass submission. PeopleSoft Fluid Invoice Approval enables approvers to review and take action on approval requests for self-service invoice headers and lines. These actions include Approve, Deny, and Pushback. PeopleSoft Fluid Supplier Approval enables approvers to review and take action on approval requests for suppliers. These actions include Approve and Deny. When selecting an approval transaction, Summary, Supplier location and supplier address are displayed. This completes our discussion of the eSettlement Approval Workflow Expansion feature. In Image 23, PeopleSoft expanded the PeopleSoft Classic Work Center to allow users to access key components within financial and supply chain applications using the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface. Similar to classic work centers, Fluid Work Centers allow you to perform daily tasks without leaving the work center. The Accounts Payable Work Center for PeopleSoft Fluid enables users to access My Work and links from a mobile device. The My Work section provides finance users access to critical pieces of their job, such as what vouchers need to be processed, system-generated alerts, vouchers that have exceptions, payments to be processed, and suppliers pending approval. The Links section can include personalized navigations and allow users to create links to other frequently used locations. This completes our discussion of the Accounts Payable Fluid Work Center feature. The new PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface for the Receivables Work Center provides features that enable receivables managers to perform tasks while away from their desks, allowing them to view current receivable transactions and their status and take actions to collect on receivables. From any Fluid homepage, a receivables manager selects the Receivables Work Center tile to manage receivables operational work. The Receivables Manager can see all work associated with their receivables operations in these categories. Alerts, Items, Payments, Interfaces Not Run, and Exceptions. In this scenario, they want to review the processes not run that integrate with other applications. If an AR Manager wants to review the cache control entries to General Ledger integrations processes that are not run, they can expand the Interfaces Not Run section and select Cache Control Entries to GL. The manager can review cache control entries that are ready to be sent to the General Ledger system and can drill into additional details for each entry. Entry details include cache control accounting for lines. The manager can then initiate Journal Generator Processing by selecting the Actions button and then selecting the Generate Journals option. This sends transactions to the general ledger and completes the objective of using a mobile device. The Links section, available on large mobile devices only, includes one-click navigation to customer accounts, items, payments, and correspondence. Administrators can create links to other frequently used locations as well. This completes our discussion of the Accounts Receivable Work Center Fluid feature. The Resource Management Fluid Resource Profile feature allows you to maintain resource information while using a mobile device. 
The source of profile information can be Human Capital Management, or HCM, if HCM is part of your installation, or Resource Management if HCM is not installed. If HCM is not installed and Resource Management is the source of profile information, then you maintain all data pertaining to the resource's profile within tables owned by Resource Management. If HCM is installed and is the source of employee information, then many of these pages cannot be edited. The images in this video are from a system that uses resource management as its source of profile information. The My Profile page can be used to view and modify a resource profile. The Overview page briefly describes the resource's work objectives and background. The Work Experience page summarizes work history for the resource. The Qualifications pages track competencies, education, and more to describe the resource. The Preferences page is used to track flexible resource preference attributes defined by the organization. The General Information pages provide access to a resource's address and phone, job information, and passports and visas. When searching for a resource, the Resource Search page allows a user to search for people in the system based on simple search criteria. This page is only accessible to users who have the Project Manager or Resource Manager role. This completes our discussion of the Resource Management Fluid Resources Profile feature. The import data via spreadsheet component enables you to enter asset transaction data offline using a spreadsheet application for import into asset management tables. As part of this feature, the Define Spreadsheet template page is delivered with the framework and fields necessary to generate an individualized, comma-separated values file you can use to input your asset transaction data. Delivered spreadsheet templates are tailored to specific transactions, such as adding capitalized assets or retiring assets. With PeopleSoft Image 23, the Define Spreadsheet template page has been enhanced to include three new spreadsheet templates. Add non-capitalized assets, add capitalized assets with accumulated depreciation, and create ARO conversion. This completes our discussion of the simplified asset conversion enhancements. The Bidder Search page has been redesigned to contain additional fields and enhance search criteria. The Search Criteria section displays only required and frequently used fields. In the Bidder Type list box, use the Bidder and Supplier option to perform a single search for bidders and suppliers. The Profile Questions Criteria section allows you to search for bidders and suppliers based on their responses entered during supplier registration. The Search Results grid displays rows that include both bidders and suppliers. For suppliers who are not open for ordering, the Open for Ordering column could display yes and no values to identify which are open and which are not. In addition, this displays the rows of invited bidders and suppliers. Select the Invite checkbox for each bidder or supplier that you want to invite to the event. This completes our discussion of the Bidder Invitation search page enhancements. With PeopleSoft Image 23, the Award Milestones page was redesigned as a grid to improve usability and expedite data entry. Using the Select Action field, you can add, copy, and update award milestones quickly and easily. To add milestones, select the Add Milestones option in the Select Action field. The Enter Milestone Details group box is dynamic and displays the specific fields necessary for the selected action. Selecting the Copy Milestones option, you can create new milestones from one or more existing milestones. The system copies general milestone information, and you have options to copy contacts as well as project and activities to the new milestones. Selecting the Update Milestones option, you can update the Due Date, Status, and Days Prior to Notify fields for one or more milestones. From the Details tab, the Projects Activity link accesses the Milestone Projects Activities page, where you can quickly assign all activities associated with the contract, 
using the Copy All Activities button or individually assign one or more project and activities to the milestone using the associated projects and activities grid. Only projects and activities assigned to the contract are available to link to a milestone. This completes our discussion of the Award Milestones page enhancements. The Grants Portal enables you to search for and filter award, project, and personnel data using specialized search pages designed for the Grants Portal. With PeopleSoft Image 23, the Grants Portal search has been enhanced to differentiate between public searches available to all users and private, user-specific searches. After entering your search criteria, you can select the public checkbox to make your saved search available to other users. A public search can be altered or deleted only by the person who created it. If you do not select the public checkbox, then your saved search stays private and only you can access it. This completes our discussion of the Grants Portal Saved Search Enhancement. The Amount Only Requisitions and Purchase Orders for Maintenance Management Work Orders feature allows you to associate Amount Only Requisitions and Purchase Order lines to work order task related procurement activities. To do this, you must select the new Amount Only checkbox. This feature adds to existing functionality that permits quantity based requisitions and purchase order lines to be associated to work order tasks. This completes our discussion of the Amount Only Requisitions and Purchase Orders for Maintenance Management Work Orders feature. PeopleSoft Purchasing provides the Amount Only checkbox to provide flexible data entry for work order related procurement activities. This leverages existing Amount Only capabilities in procurement along with seamless integration to requisitions and purchase orders. If the Amount Only checkbox is selected for a purchase order line, and that line is associated to an Amount Only work order schedule, then you can view the schedule date, amount, and currency fields on the Maintain Purchase Order Schedules page. These three fields are display only and originate from the work order schedule and not from the purchase order schedule. In addition, the schedule date, amount, and currency fields are displayed on the Maintain Requisition Schedule page only when the Amount Only checkbox is selected for a requisition line and that requisition line is associated with an Amount Only work order schedule. This completes our discussion of the Amount Only Purchase Orders Support Maintenance Management work orders feature. PeopleSoft Purchasing and General Ledger added the ability to create File C information, which is required by the U.S. Treasury on a quarterly basis. The Run Control page enables you to run the process that extracts data to staging tables and creates the output bulk file. This completes our discussion of the U.S. Federal Data Act File C interface feature. The following features have also been added in Image 23. Keyword search capabilities have been added to Resource Management Service Order and Assign Resource Pages, which allows you to search across multiple attributes of the components. You can use phrases, words, or partial strings to perform your search. The Approval Workflow feature has been added for you to approve assignment status and assignment date. Miscellaneous cash receipts can now be printed using BI Publisher. This completes our discussion of additional features. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, release notes on my Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.